Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Carolyn Fanning, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about our cancer support centre in Tipperary Town <coughs> called Circle of Friends. Um, first of all, I'd like to take uh, this opportunity to thank everyone involved with organising today. I'm sure we'll all agree it's been a very informative day for us all. And thank you for inviting Circle of Friends also. Um, apologies from Jennifer Jones, our founder, who herself has stage four ovarian cancer. She was supposed to speak to you today, but unfortunately she hasn't been well enough to travel this morning. Um, my personal experience with Circle of Friends began in 2014 following a diagnosis of breast cancer. I went from being a busy mother of two, housewife and full-time nurse, to being a patient with way too many hours on my own to fill the emotional vacuum that a cancer diagnosis can create. While the physical side of my treatment was all laid out for me, it was up to me to look after my mental well-being. And then I heard about Circle of Friends. Uh, luckily for me, Circle of Friends was founded in December 2013. It was the vision of our founder, Jennifer, a young woman herself, who had been diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer. Traveling up and down from Tipperary to Cork, she discovered that there was no support service locally. So she decided to rectify this, and so it began. Circle of Friends was initially two rented rooms in the station house in Tipperary Town, which quickly became three. As the word spread, our numbers increased week on week, and it quickly became apparent that a bigger premises would be needed. And thus began the mammoth task of designing, fundraising, and building a center that would serve the psychological and social needs of the communities of Tipperary, East Limerick, North Cork, and anyone who visited the area. We are very fortunate and immensely proud of the wonderful volunteers and fundraisers we have working with us. As a result of the huge generosity of our local communities, we were able to turn the sod on our new building in March last year, and we are hoping to be in our new centre this September. You're all invited to the opening. We will be there. In the meantime, as well as coordinating and fundraising, we continue to run a very busy centre. We are open Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We are also open some evenings for activities such as our men's support group, women's support group, choir practice and meditation. During normal working hours, we offer counselling. That can be one-to-one, -one, families or group support. We also have a very large range of complementary therapies. These can include um, Reiki, reflexology, acupuncture, Indian head massage, ordinary massage, bra and prosthesis fitting, uh, lymph drainage. We also run a busy activity schedule and these activities include art, photography, book club, crafts and our hugely popular knit and natter group. Our ladies have taken their love of knitting and crochet and turned it into a little mini industry making all sorts of projects. Their favourite one being a blanket for a friend initiative where we gift um, our newly diagnosed service users with a beautiful handmade blanket. Everything we run and provide in the centre is free of charge. And as we all know, a successfully run organisation needs a dedicated committee, which we have. And we also have a terrific bunch of volunteers. We are always striving to promote the centre by travelling to rural villages in our catchment area. And we have regular outreach coffee mornings giving information and support to those who may not have heard that there is a centre up and running in Tip Town. So this afternoon I ask you, please everyone take our information leaflet and help us to spread the word. And just before I finish up, um, our founder Jennifer sent me a text that she'd asked me to, to read out to you all. And she's sorry she couldn't be here. But she says, um, Circle of Friends, like so many other voluntary cancer support centres, is an example of what can be achieved when people and communities unite together with a common goal to support and care for the many peoples and their family, families when faced with the challenges cancer can bring to their lives. As we know, cancer does not discriminate and unfortunately every household has been touched in some way. It is so fantastic and uplifting to see so many more support networks and centres popping up in smaller towns, especially as this makes it so much more accessible for people to avail of the love and support from volunteers and therapists family members and friends who choose to walk this journey with us. 
This is beautiful and it's clear that it's this love that gives us the strength and courage to keep thriving. Thank you.